Okay, everyone, welcome back. So we have been talking a tremendous amount about astronomical geography and what latitude is uh, in theory. But now we really want to be able to determine our latitude. Let's say you're standing someplace on the planet and you want to know at what latitude you are standing. How do you find this out? Well, actually, if you understand sun angles, then the determination of latitude is actually rather simple. It's a very simple formula uh, to do this as long as you understand what particular latitude on any particular day that you're trying to make your determination of latitude uh, is receiving the direct rays of the sun. And as we said, that's something that has been known for a long time. Even ancient mythology has been about uh, the sun cycle. So this is something that's been measured for a long time. And so it's been possible to determine our latitude also for a very long time. Geographers and astronomers of the ancient world have been able to determine uh, the latitude of different locations with great accuracy uh, for many, many, many years. So if you want to determine your latitude, what do you need to know? You only need to know two things. First, you need to know the declination of the sun on that day. Now, I don't think I've actually used the term declination of the sun yet, even though we have talked about this uh, concept time and time again when we were talking about astronomical geography. So what is the declination of the sun? The declination of the sun is the line of latitude that is receiving the direct rays of the sun on a given day. And of course, as we've been discussing, because of the tilt of the Earth's axis, this changes every day as the Earth revolves around the sun. So the declination of the sun changes every day. So you need to know which line of latitude is receiving the direct rays of the sun at noon on any particular day that you're trying to make your determination of latitude. The second thing that you need to know in order to determine latitude is the altitude of the sun at local noon at your location. This is when the sun is highest in the sky at your location. And this may not always be noon according to your watch. Remember that today we typically simplify time across the planet into 24 different time zones, whereas technically noon is when the sun is highest in the sky over wherever it is you're standing, we tend to simplify things for the purposes of timekeeping by having different time zones and just saying, hey, everybody within this particular band will say it's noon at the same time. And that simplifies a lot of things, like train schedules historically, but it doesn't help you find a latitude. So when we're talking about finding the altitude of the sun at local noon at your location, we mean at whatever time it is that you look up into the sky and the sun is at its highest point. That's local noon for you. So what exactly is the sun angle that you need to measure? The sun angle is simply the angle between the horizon and the sun at its highest point in the sky at local noon. So you can see that if that's all you need to know, uh, then it has been very easy uh, historically to be able to determine latitude. This sun angle can be determined simply with a protractor, and protractors have been around for thousands of years. So if you have a protractor to measure angles, you can determine the sun angle. And then as far as the declination of the sun goes, we've been talking about how ancient peoples have been tracking that and how that's been very important to them for harvest seasons and planting seasons. And so scholars have been calculating and cataloging the declination of the sun also for thousands of years. Well, how do you determine the declination of the sun on any particular day? Well, because what particular line of latitude is receiving the direct rays of the sun on any particular day has been cataloged, you can use a tool called an analemma. An analemma is this figure eight shaped device that you very frequently see on the sides of globes. An analemma will help you determine the declination of the sun on any day. Here is an analemma that's a little bit easier to see. Check out what you see on this analemma. The first thing you notice is this figure eight shape. And this figure eight shape is what's going to allow you to determine uh, the declination of the sun on any given day. Or if you knew uh, the declination of the sun, you could find out uh, what day it was. It'd allow you to go both ways. If you were to plot the path of the sun through the sky at any particular location, at its highest point throughout the entire year, it would follow a figure eight shape like this. Uh, this particular shape is brought about because the Earth does not 
orbit the Earth in a perfect circle. You know, we said there are complications that the Earth is not perfectly spherical. It's uh, a little bit squashed and there are different shapes in there. Well, likewise, when we talk about the orbit of the Earth around the Sun, it's not true that it's a perfect uh, circle. It's a little bit uh, elliptical. It's an elliptical shape. And because of the elliptical shape, the Earth travels at different speeds around the Sun at different times. And that actually uh, is what causes this figure eight shape to be a little bit squashed on one side. So let's take a look at what we see when we look at the analemma. We have the figure eight shape that is divided into every single day of the year. Take a look at it closely. You'll see all the different months there and you will see all of the different days of the month along the analemma. Then you will also see that we have three different lines of latitude that should be extremely familiar to us right now. We have the Tropic of Cancer, we have the Equator, and we have the Tropic of Capricorn. And since we said that if you were in the tropics, that means that on some day of the year, at least one, and in most cases two days of the year, the sun will be directly overhead at noon because that latitude is receiving the direct rays of the sun. It makes sense that our analemma oscillates between the Tropic of Capricorn in the south and the Tropic of Cancer because these are all of the areas on the planet that can receive the direct rays of the sun. If you look over here on the left side, you will see the declination of the sun. You will see all the different degree measurements of the lines of latitude from the equator up to the Tropic of Cancer and from the equator down to the Tropic of Capricorn. So it becomes very easy to determine the declination of the sun if you have this particular device. If you have your analemma with you, you can look up any day of the year and then slide right over to the side and find out the declination of the sun on that day. That will be the line of latitude that is receiving the direct rays of the sun uh, on that particular day. The sun will be directly overhead at local noon at that particular line of latitude on the day that you looked up. You can of course go the other way if you happen to be interested in when the declination of the sun is a particular value. You can look up the value that you're interested in over here on the left and then go over and find out on what days the sun happens to be shining directly on that line of latitude. And you'll notice that this figure eight shape crosses each one of those lines of latitude twice. Once when the sun's declination is moving from the Tropic of Capricorn up to the Tropic of Cancer and then again when the sun's declination is moving from the Tropic of Cancer down to the Tropic of Capricorn. And of course the only two lines on here that are in the tropics that receive the direct rays of the sun only once a year are the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. You can see that the figure eight dips down or comes up and just touches them at one point. So that's how you use an analemma and what it's telling you. I'll also point out to you that along the top you have the equation of time. I'm not going to go into detail about the equation of time right now, uh, but the equation of time happens because the Earth is traveling at different speeds around the Sun because of its elliptical orbit. If it was a perfectly circular orbit we wouldn't have an equation of time. But there's also an important component to time. Uh, that happens because of our elliptical orbit and you can calculate something they call the equation of time with the analemma as well. But for our purposes here all we need to be able to do is determine the declination of the Sun on any particular day. So this is a very handy device to have. If you have one then you're well on your way to being able to determine your latitude on any particular day as long as you also have a protractor to measure Sun angle. So here is our depiction of sun angle. The sun angle is the angle between the horizon and the sun at its highest point in the sky at local noon. Here you see the horizon down here at the bottom. There is the sun. If it's local noon right now and that's where the sun is in the sky, then you measure from the horizon up to the line that goes through the sun and you have the sun angle. Of course the sun is not going to be overhead directly at noon in all places on the planet on any particular day. Remember the only places that it's possible for the sun to be directly overhead at noon on some day is if you were in the tropics. I have always lived north of the tropics. I've never lived in the tropics. And so there has never been a day that I have gone outside at local noon and seen the sun directly overhead. The sun is always going to be lower in the sky for me. So there are only three steps for the determination of latitude. The first is to determine the sun angle at local astronomical noon. 
So you go outside at the time when the sun is highest in the sky for you, take a protractor with you, and measure out the angle between the horizon and the sun. Don't look directly at the sun, of course, but that's your procedure. Measure that angle with a, with a protractor. Then two, determine the declination of the sun. If you have all of the sun's declination information cataloged on an analemma, then you're good to go. You look at the analemma and you find out the declination of the sun. Then you simply apply the formula latitude, your latitude, what you're looking for, is equal to 90 degrees minus the sun angle plus the declination of the sun. And that's it. I will note, however, that when you're entering the declination of the sun into this equation, northern declinations are given positive values and southern declinations are given as negative values. So if the declination of the sun happens to be uh, 10 degrees south on a particular day, then you enter that into this equation as negative 10. If the declination of the sun is 12 degrees north, then you enter it into this equation as just positive 12 plus 12. So that's it. Your latitude equals 90 minus the sun angle plus the declination of the sun at that particular day. We'll use this equation in a few practice problems next.